What? Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> okay, sorry. What? Oh, what? <laughs> we just got in from Australia, just then. What? We were walking on something really weird. What? I won't worry about that. We were like right. about to start vlogging and you guys walked in, Dang. so. Yeah, thanks for ruining it. Appreciate we're it. Ruining the vlog. Well, thanks so much for the vlog, guys. All right, later. See you next week. Hey guys, I'm vlogging right now and I just want to let you guys know that our camera floats now, so it's whatever, dude. <laughs> Another day. Another vlog. Another Conti launch. Another Conti launch. If you're on it, you have probably already gotten the pieces and have already seen it because Black Friday was technically yesterday when you're seeing this video now. But we're still gonna let you guys know it's good anyway. I've already plugged this enough so you know it was coming. This is one of the pieces right here. It's a faith-based collection, so all the pieces are based off of scripture in the Bible. Jess and I really wanted to do that and it's getting close to Christmas and we were just like, that is something that you just fill in the dream. Zach knows about that. <laughs> I know what you're saying. But is also stuff that we would want to wear. Yeah, not because the, there's a huge gap of like Christian clothing or like faith-based clothing that's like, most of it's like super cringe. So true. We, true. Zach, mm -hmm. behind the I feel that. Behind the camera. I'm like, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we wanted to make stuff that wasn't cringe that's like actually super, super dope and like top of the line. Three, two, one. Oh, baby. I'm in the same thing since I was already wearing it, but this one says fear no evil and back it says hallelujah. Contine. Contine. Yeah. And I'm sporting the I need a prayer. This one is the only one that wasn't based off a Bible verse, but I think everyone needs a prayer in their life. Oh, we're halfway there. Oh, copyright there. Oh, <laughs> oh. oh, yeah. Rhyming there with there. Let's go. Wow. Musician. Three, two, one. This one says all for the glory. This is based off of which a lot of you guys probably already know. First Corinthians 10 31, whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all for the, the glory of God. of God. So that's what that's about. And then this one in the image, it is the comfiest stuff we have come out with to date, all custom made. We are typically known for having the comfiest in the merch game as far as clothing is concerned. Cutting in here for a second because um, due to Black Friday yesterday, I'm about to upload it. Like, I'm recording this clip right before uploading it. I'm gonna add it in real quick. And Black Friday, yesterday it happened, it was great, but there is uh, one of the pieces is already sold out completely and then things are selling out in a lot of the other pieces. Most of it's already almost sold out. Just wanted to let you know so you, no one was mad and was like, you're promoting this and whatever. If you want anything, there's very limited quantities left. I, j I just needed to come here because we recorded this whole vlog a bit ago. So I just want to like properly update in the current timeline. Okay, peace. Back to the, yep. Subscribe. As you can tell, I'm 25 now. I'm getting worse and worse at the social media stuff and vlogging and things. But we have the fanny packs as well. How did I forget this? this is a staple piece of the collection. Okay, enough. You plugging. literally wear it every day. I don't know how I you know. forgot it. I don't know how I forgot. I wear this every day. This as well. Cool beans. All right, we ready for lunch? What? What was that, babe? Yes. Yes. Please, you, yes? I'm ready. Yes. Oh, nice. Looking good. Yeah, it's right. looking so, good. You gotta spin, you gotta spin. Right. Yes. Oh, oh fire. Oh, she's so cute. Dude, I think oh. I need to marry you. Oh. Oh. Oh, what? You guys are engaged? We get married now. <laughs> for the vlog, do it for the vlog, elope. Guys, I realized something. What? I'm gonna need everyone's attention in this car for this conversation. We are all ears. Well, we made the joke not the joke, well kind of a joke, it was like half a joke, about, oh, you guys are engaged. We haven't said anything on this channel yet about it. Oh yeah. <laughs> so we just oh. kind of dropped it. No, you just kind of dropped it on there. <laughs> if, you, if you watch Jess's video, you knew that it happened. Yeah. Mm. Her video from like a, the week and a half ago or two weeks yeah. ago or something. My New York vlog, they got engaged. They're engaged. Yeah. Yes, but I just thought we'd take this time to sit and chat about it. Because oh. that's fun. Oh, that is fun. That is oh, fun. Question one. Oh. Zach, on a scale of one to ten. <laughs> Zach just, just takes over. She's like, yes, <laughs> engagement talking. How much did you think you were going to pee up your So I went to the bathroom so, so many, many times, times that day. <laughs> really? And it worked out really 
That's I mean, actually so funny. Yeah, I was going to say, is it unusual? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how surprised were you? 9. 9? Nine? Oh, 9? You had... <laughs> Previously. Nine. Nine. <laughs> we flew to New Nine. York. <laughs> in like February, you said, mm -hmm. wouldn't it be too soon to propose in New York? Oh, he Rachel, like, I forgot about it. Okay. Still, it was I, was, good. I was like, You oh, remembered yeah. when it happened. Yeah. Gotcha. Oh. And why did I ask that? What an idiot. Come on, <laughs> It was like a making sure thing, like yeah. making sure that yeah. that's where we were at. Which and I think oh. I said, yeah, that's cool. And then that was the end of that conversation. And it's the funniest thing yeah. ever. He and myself, Charlie's just like, oh, whatever. I guess. How does it feel being almost two weeks engaged? And is it different to when you were not engaged prior to being engaged? Because that's so, what happens when you're not engaged basically yet. Basically what he's saying is, do you feel like Beyonce? <laughs> I think it'll feel more real when we're home. Yeah. Because we haven't yeah. seen any. Like we've Family. we've gotten to celebrate with you guys, which is, which so, is so good, you know. But yeah, know, we're the first ones. Oh, yeah. We're important. Oh, yeah. So you tell someone you got a new job, your whole family. That you yeah. got a new job, and then like a few months later, you tell someone at church because you forgot to tell them. Oh, I'm actually doing this, and they're hyped for you. Yeah. yeah. Even though this, you're used to it. This is like the opposite, where we've only told a few people. We've only got to talk to a few people about I mean, it. Hype up until Christmas, because I don't see some of my family till Christmas. Oh True. wow. Oh. So Next month. I think that's when it's gonna feel real for me. I mean, I. Sheesh. My thing is, is like, I, don't, I just want to freaking get married already. You know, I'm Woo! just, I'm like, Boy. I'm just pumped to like do life already. So I yeah. think I'm like forgetting to enjoy it. So maybe that's yeah. a good thing I should do. Should kind of enjoy the moment. More. Definitely enjoy the season. Yeah, for sure. Of engagement. Oh yeah. Have you said fiance? Like. Have you like, called oh, each other my fiance? fiance. Not like, hey, fiance, but have you been um, like, have oh, you my fiance? Have you Sorry. introduced the other person as your fiance? Not yet. Yet. Not yet. I think Ooh. that's crazy. That'll be a special moment. No, I yeah. do every now and then yell, where's my fiance? <laughs> <laughs> Just because you, you you're Aww. like, where's my wife? <laughs> yeah, yeah, wife was one to get used to. Oh, fiance, yeah. I was still getting used to fiance, and then we were only Suddenly. engaged for like three, three months. months, and then we were married, and then I had to switch it to wife. And it was, it was like still... I know, I was still getting used to fiancé. It was all funky. Right? I think and it's it going like to be the same. Yeah. I, well, I think, because we, I don't know, uh, I don't know if this is going to be questioning or not, but there'll probably be a few months before our wedding. Mm -hmm. So I think we'll get full used to fiancé and then just like suddenly be like, oh, you're yeah. my wife. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 100%. Well, thanks everyone for tuning in to the engagement right. Q&A. Later, gonna... I'll be taking everyone on a Hollywood tour. I'm just going to take a, you guys on a little Hollywood tour after lunch. Uh -huh. Just to show you guys the hot spots. I'm excited. Me too. Okay, hey, let's go get some lunch. Put it here, big fella. <laughs> Good job, everybody. Let's, go. let's get some lunch. <laughs> Welcome back. Yoo-hoo. Family roll call. Big family roll Yoo-hoo. Yoo-hoo. Yoo <laughs> Charles. Oh, yoo <laughs> <laughs> If you are in LA and you want a good place to eat, Coffee Commissary in Burbank. It is oh, yeah. legit. So, good. so now we get to experience the Gabriel Conti LA Hollywood tour. All right, everyone. Welcome to the Gabriel Conti Hollywood tour by Gabriel Conti himself. Woo! Yeah! Let's drive by some cool places, everyone. Woo. Okay. Who here in this van is excited? I wish I had a microphone. <gasps> <gasps> Is your hand broken? Oh no! You think I don't know fun? why I was just like put my hand up in the car. That was so stupid. Let's try that again. Who here is excited for the Gabriel Conti's Hollywood tour by Gabriel Conti? Me! There we go. That's what I like to hear. Oh, Warner Brothers Studio Tours. It's over to the left. It's that way. Ooh. You can't see a whole lot because there's a City of Burbank dis Hollywood Way distributing station right there. I know what I'm talking about. Don't at me. You would have a really good view of <clears throat> Warner Brothers Studios. However, there's this white wall here. So unfortunate for everyone in the car. Okay, so where are you gonna take us to first? Have you guys ever heard of the infamously famous social media influencer couple who took over the world at one point? Chelsea and Zach. <laughs> Jess and Gabriel Conti. Oh, I know them. Oh, you've heard of them? Yeah. I've heard of do you subscribe? Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> I do. Oh, I do. No? Yeah? I do, I do, I do. I have the bell on as well. <laughs> if you do have the bell on, you also have to... No, that's actually a good thing that you brought that up. Because if you do have the bell on, most people don't get notifications because they also don't have the notifications on for YouTube app itself on their phone. Yeah. So you it's have like to do, a double. It's a double thing. YouTube gets you like that. If you've seen any recent pictures <laughs> on Gabriel Conti's Instagram recently, since you guys said you follow him, at Gabriel Conti, his humble beginnings of taking tool bag shirtless photos <laughs> are up on that second floor 
area of the gym up there because this is where he used to rent his first apartment in Los Angeles. Ooh. Ah. Ah. <laughs> As we pull up here, you can see to our right, right here, was oh. Gabriel Conti's first apartment building. Yeah, it looks pretty big. Yes, I rented the whole thing for myself. <laughs> or, uh, Gabriel Conti, I mean, rented the whole thing for himself. Because I don't know him personally. <laughs> Countless a video was shot on this street right here. Take your pictures as you will. And post them for the world to see. Babe, I told you this was worth the money. <laughs> <laughs> now, as we continue our tour, through the greater Los Angeles area. I want to know if you guys have ever heard of Jess and Gabriel Conti. Ooh. Yeah, do you, yeah, do yeah, you know yeah. who they are? Well, Gabriel Conti specifically shot a show called Mr. Student Body President. They're shooting a show right and if now. They are literally shooting a show right now. We're going to have to make a U-turn because of that blue thing on the fence. You can Ooh. see where Gabriel Conti shot his show, Mr. Student Body President. Ooh. Three seasons of it at this middle school right here. Ooh. I'll take a pa I'll take a stop right uh, here so you can uh, see. Well, they're, just, they're literally they're shooting, shooting the show right now, which is really hilarious. Is, it, is this the new series of Mr. Student Body President? If you would like to see Mr. Student Body President, it is now on Amazon Prime, <laughs> all four seasons. So you can watch your boy on Amazon on Amazon Prime Video. Oh, four. If you look to our left down the street here, Gabriel Conti, back in the day, did shoot some videos on the street with his friend, Zachary Staines. Have you guys ever heard of Zachary Staines? Yes! Oh, yeah. Didn't think so! Very cool! This is a great tour! <laughs> Do you guys know uh, Justin Gabriel Conti? Mm. No? They anyway. Vloggers. Yeah, to, to the, our right, the neighborhood in there is where they shoot a lot of their carpool karaoke videos. Ooh. You can look up their playlist for all their carpool karaoke videos to watch all of them. It's gonna be right up here. There. But now look that way. This was Jess and Gabriel's first apartment together Ooh. in Los Angeles. Crazy. <laughs> Thank you so much for this tour. You do like it? Money <laughs> well spent. Wait, it's okay, over? You, you I go. paid 500 bucks for this <laughs> crap. <laughs> my, my, hello, we're back. Are you excited to see what your ethnicity is since you came from mommy and daddy? Get it? It was a joke. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. yeah, because he's our child. Zach, how are you feeling about this? I'm feeling... I mean, nervous? I don't know if I feel anything about it. Are you nervous? <laughs> it's crazy, right, dude? So much is riding on this. So much of your future is riding on this. <laughs> if you're only watching this for the first time, a couple of videos ago we took a DNA test and then we sent it off and basically we both got emails that said our reports are ready. So, yeah. one second, it's just loading. Oh, okay. Oh. I thought you were no, reading it. She is reading it. Oh, wow. Okay, what? Okay, so I am... There's three other people in this room. <gasps> what? Oh my gosh, babe. <laughs> okay, sorry. Sure, can I look? No, I'll oh. just read it to you. Okay, read it. I am 100% European. What? Who would have thought that? I didn't see it coming. <laughs> so, Wait, I thought you were Australian. No, this is really <laughs> interesting. I am 46.1% British and Irish. Every Australian ever. Yeah. 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 I, I am 26% French and German. Ooh. 0.9% wow. Scandinavian. Oh, that's fun. Wow. You just can 0.9? Yeah. Tiny, <gasps> tiny, tiny. Broadly, Northwestern European is 14%. So I guess that's just like everywhere else. How do they know that, dude? That's so okay. crazy. The best part of all, my southern Europeanness in me. I am 1.8% Italian. Oh, no yeah. Way. No wonder you like pasta. I know, it's the 1.8% <laughs> in me. I am 0.8% Spanish and Portuguese. No. no way. Dude, what? We're related. <laughs> <laughs> You're Spanish and Portuguese? I knew yeah. it. 0.8%. You got my results. Nice, dude. That's cool. Okay, I need to log on. I British, thought I knew you were Italian. French, German, Scandinavian, Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese. That's crazy, dude. Dude, what? Yo. What? Are you 100% European, too? 80% <laughs> European. No way. There's some weird ones on here. 61.8%. Southern European, which breaks down into 50.9% Spanish and Portuguese. Okay. Which makes sense because on my mom's, like my grandpa's just like yeah. from Spain. You know that what I mean? That makes sense. So you got 50% Spanish, did you say? Spanish and Portuguese, yeah. But that's like, yeah, Italian is 2.2%. 2 
Oh. And then broadly Southern European is 8.7%. So that's like, I figured uh -huh. I was Italian because like, like Italian or French because on my dad's side, like they came to Cuba from mm -hmm. Europe at some point before they came to America. Northwestern European, 8% French and German. No way. You guys are freaking related. I'm sorry. 0.7% <laughs> British Irish, broadly Northwestern European, 5%. 0.3% Ashken, as he Jewish. What? I don't even, How I don't do they know. get that much detail? I'm and, just... then, and then just broadly European, 4.2%. Now, 11% East Asian and Native American. What? Wow. How many percent? 11%, 11 East percent. Asian and Native American. I'm 10% Native American. No way. That is crazy. Didn't know that until now. That is I'm crazy. I'm 10% Native American? That is crazy. How? Since I what? Go back and, to then, and then 1.1%. Broadly East Asian and Native American. 2.6% of Western Asian and North African. North African. North African. Dude, how the heck are you North I'm African? 1% North and... African. Sub Saharan African. 1.1%. What? What the heck, dude? Dude, your ancestors got around. <laughs> <laughs> like, around. just globally. 5.1% <laughs> of unassigned. That they don't know. They just don't know. Right, you guys. Thank you for watching. That was so interesting. That was so interesting. Thank you guys for watching. You know what to do this? And do this. That? Yes. And then do that. You know? The ding 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 that. Oh yeah. And get this and this at this thing right here that I'm gonna move and then throw it off the screen. Peace out. Yes. And Gabriel. And Zach. And Chelsea. Conti. Yeah.